It's time for five questions. <laughs> Geography, you played Australian rules football. Can you name three NFL football teams here in America? Three? Um, New York, wait, L wait, LA, wait, and um, no, no, no. Austin, what, Texas. I need nicknames. I need the team names. The New York. The, the Knicks. No. <laughs> the, um, so you don't follow American football? The Jerry's. No? The... We can't accept that. So. Uh, this is fun. <laughs> Ooh, uh, it's Friday the 13th. Can you spell superstitious? S-U-P-E-R. Right. S-T-I-T. Ooh. Yeah. That was T-I-T. <laughs> I-O-U-S. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> Number three, less embarrassing Australian export. Less embarrassing Australian export, Paul Hogan, Steve Irwin. Paul Hogan. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, this is tough. This is a difficult one, okay? Uh huh. Uh, don't say it out loud. You're, of course, your name is Guy Pierce. Think of a body part that people pierce, okay? Don't say it. Do you have it? Yeah. Okay. Now think of another one. Do you have that? Don't say it. That people pierce? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, now think of a third one. Okay, you yeah. have a third one. Yeah. And what is it, sir? The third one? Yes. Foreskin. Oh. <laughs> you know, this is what we had, but he's adventurous. That was the first one. Was it? Yeah. We'll accept that. That was the first one. This was the second one. No navel. No. Sorry if that's uh I forgot, I forgot you're a rock and roller. You guys do the crazy stuff. Yeah. You wanna uh, see? No! No. Okay. And finally, uh, will you demonstrate the subtle difference between a, a British accent and an Australian accent using the word concubine? <laughs> subtle difference between British and Australian accent. Well, it would depend on which British accent you're talking about, I suppose. But I, but someone of a more upper class might say concubine. That, that's correct. And how would it you know? And somebody from far north Queensland might say concubine. <laughs> Thanks.